Bye, guys. All right, we got a couple minutes, I think. That's oh, right at six o'clock right now. We'll see who joins us. Hi, Lauren, can you hear me? Lauren, I can't hear you if you are trying to talk and then we can get going. Let me look in the chat here. Okay, so, um, so Lauren, you ready for me to get going? I know many of you are up in the air um, flying. So we, I know this is being recorded to share with you all. I wish I could hear you, Lauren. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and just waited a few minutes for um, folks to join. And I know this will be recorded, but I wanna start out and introduce myself. Um, I am Holly Thorpe and I'm here at my shop in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I'm set up, this is one part of my store called Wildcraft. And through that entrance is another part of our store where we do holistic facials. Um, and we started, can you hear me? Um, and we started in 2016 is when we opened. And, um, my passion is skincare and helping people. It's evolved into 
wellness, and now we do holistic facials called SkinWise. Um, so Kia, one of the Sky Angels, put me in touch with you guys because I work with her on her skin. And she was like, you just have to share these tips with, the, with my team. So I'm so happy to do that. And I am all about being interactive too. So if any of you who are joining want to unmute and um, kind of dive in or if I ask a question, go for it. I am not formal. I'm very casual, but, um, and again, my name is Holly and I want to start out talking about skincare. Um, I know when Kia first started flying, I saw her about a month in and she was like, Holly, what is happening to my skin? So we got to really do a deep dive on talking about her skin hydration. And she was on her typical moisturizer and using, but what she'd been using just wasn't working. So the very first thing we dove in on was the conversation about hydration, topically and internally. And hydration is not the same as moisture or your moisturizer. So I like to differentiate that for folks. Um, the words can be interchangeable, but today I'm really wanting to educate you all on skin hydration. And that is water soluble, aloe, um, hydrosols. These are not fatty acids, plant oils, the sealants. So think of it as layers. We need hydration first on our skin and I'll walk you through that. So we need hydration first and then the moisturizer on top. So particularly for you all who are in just drier cabins um, up in the air and just drier climates in general, this is going to be so important. And sometimes if you've been struggling with inflammation, it's the single ticket that is what you need to help your skin feel more plumped, balanced, and inflammation is can totally be caused by your skin being dehydrated. So, um, so many symptoms can just calm right down when you're properly hydrated topically. And then we'll go into the internal hydration tips. I kind of just want to give you guys a bunch of just um, really easy to use um, download of ideas that you guys can just use on the flights, use when you're traveling and kind of just have in your arsenal to know to pick from. And then I'm always here for you. And we have a team here that can answer questions for you too. We're on social and we text people all the time and email and the whole thing. So um, we can go deeper on anything. But level one, just quickly, just kind of pretending you're like so 101 with your skincare. Um, I want to start with you guys talking about your skincare at night because I think it's going to be so important for every one of you to be using an oil cleanser at night to remove your makeup and remove any sunscreen. And think of like attracts like. So oil using as a cleanser, and I'll show you one, it's amazing. This is actually a local line called Maya Chia. Oil, think of, does like oil pulling. So don't be afraid of it if you're prone to breaking out um, or you're like, oh my gosh, I have oily skin. I'm not going to put more oil on. These are oils meant to do oil pulling and do a deep clean. So I feel like the Maya Chia, this is a beautiful cleanser, super anti-inflammatory. You can do an oil cleanser at night. You, that will just be so nourishing. So not a water-based foamy cleanser at night. You can do that as a second cleanse, but first dry skin, oil cleanse, about a quarter size amount, spend time massaging. Really spend time where you're more congested, where you have more makeup. And while you're massaging, I want your water at the sink you're at to be getting hot. Um, not too hot, but like super warm. And so by the time you're done massaging, hot steamy cloth, all of that off and do some hot compressions. This is all going to help bring circulation to the skin and really soften your skin um, so it's ready to receive your next ingredients. So level one, oil cleanse at night. And in the morning, you don't even have to do that. 
Uh, you can just do a quick toner, splash of hydrosol. If you like a water-based cleanser or a bar in the morning, great. Nighttime, I want everyone to be doing an oil cleanser. It will make the biggest difference. So my favorites, every one of you will be able to use the Maya Chia Super Clean, um, Great Cleanse. It smells amazing and does its job of removing makeup, eye makeup, the whole thing. And then if you have more inflammatory skin, reactive, sensitive, breaking out more, my, the Siam C's Morning Delight Makeup Remover Cleanser. Oil-based again, but loaded in um, plant alpha hydroxy acids to just help even do a deeper um, detox clean. And then if you are just like, mm, I'm not really sure if I wanna do a straight oil blend as my cleanser. Um, one of my favorite lines called Josh Rosebrook just came out with their essential balm cleanse. And we have this too. So it comes out like a gel, but it's actually completely oil-based. So it feels like a gel and um, you massage it on and this will even rinse with water. So this is another great option for folks. Um, so that's your step one at night, oil cleanse. And then we're gonna move into that hydration. And hydration is going to look like a mist. For you guys, I think a mist. We have these in pumps, but I want you all to actually be using this on the flight as well. Um, you are, this is not a drying toner, an astringent toner. This is pure plant antioxidant, loaded hydration, just amazingness that helps your skin look dewy and hold that moisturizer um, for you when you put it on later. So um, this one by Maya Chia is unbelievable and it smells amazing. I know Kia, my customer, who is a sky angel, she loves the Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator and it comes in two sizes um, because you buy the big boy and you can just keep refilling um, the smaller size. And my tip for traveling on the flight with these mist is put some masking tape right here just to, so it, to help it not leak, uh, leak from cabin pressure. So it would be amazing if you all every hour on the flight could mist your skin and really help keep your hydration levels up and keep your skin balanced and healthy. Um, this one smells very herbal and clean. Um, the Maya Chia one smells very ylang ylang and sexy and amazing. And, and then another, my favorite, this one's so rich of um, vitamin C's and plumpers is one by Laurel Skin. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. Um, but this smells like an earthy rose water, super plumping. Um, so these are my three favorite picks for you guys for the hydration mist step. So that is right after you cleanse, you're going to mist. It's going to get your pH happy, but super prep your skin for your hydration serum. We're not going to move straight to the moisturizer. You guys need a hydration serum for being on these planes. And um, it's kind of just a visual, think about if you are, you spilt something on your kitchen counter and you need to clean it up. And you say, so go grab the sponge. The very first thing you do when you are gonna grab that sponge to go clean it up is what? To, to absorb what's spilled. You wet your sponge. So think of your hydration steps as that moment of wetting that sponge to then go absorb and pick up what's on that counter or what's on your face, um, which is going to allow that, imagine that as your moisturizer. So this allows the moisturizer to be the driver and go deeper and um, work better for your skin. So the moisturizer needs this hydration. So this is level one hydration. You use it right after you cleanse again. And then you guys are gonna keep using this on the plane, huge. But then your next big hydration step is going to be as a, a super treatment hydration. Um, they look like this, they're really beautiful. These are all about 
plumping, brightening. These are not a moisturizer again. They feel, I want you to feel or look at this. They look like water, but they're not, they're like magic. Um, we have so many beautiful ones that are so loaded with your antioxidants. You all being up in the air, you are having to protect your skin more from environmental stressors. So this is another layer to think of it just like a shield that you can protect um, your skin from. And so I wanna highlight a few of these. So cleanse, hydrate mist, hydrate treatment serum. Um, the one I know that Kia is using is by Anne Marie and we have all of these in stock. Um, this is a citrus stem cell serum. This smells wonderful like citrus, but it, um, it's for firming, really holding and more brightening. Um, so kind of depending on what you like to focus on or wanna target, we can pick the hydration serum to what you want. Bonus, you get your super hydration from it. Um, to help your moisturizer work. Um, this one by Lene, this is a new, uh, our newest line. And let me admit someone. <laughs> this is our newest line in that this is like a retinol alternative. This has the highest vitamin C plants found in nature. And it is wonderful. These all, you wanna see color. You want like, see how that glisten? This is hydration and it's gonna go straight in my skin. Um, another beautiful one is by Maya Chia and it is a triple vitamin C and literally does lifting and, and, um, and firming from peptides. So um, it's called the Super Lift by Maya Chia. And this is like her newest huge launch, but another super hydrating, brightening, treatment. And then that first one I showed you is another favorite. This is like a really beautiful hydrating uh, retinol alternative. So these are just a few picks from the store for you. And then I know you're probably familiar with the word hyaluronic acid. That's think of these as like that so much bigger and, and bigger in a way because these are using whole plants and plant extracts and botanical hyaluronic. So that's what all these steps are meant to hold that water in your skin. And because if you use straight hyaluronic acid, um, that's a humectant, meaning it's, if your skin does not have appropriate hydration, it's gonna pull from your body and it actually can cause more dehydrated um, skin for you which sounds like wild to some people who are like, oh, hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid, that's gonna be my hydrator. Um, you really want to ensure that you're hydrated well from the inside. But I like these picks that are these really healthy plant-based um, versions of that hyaluronic acid mixed with so many powerful antioxidants. Um, so now we've got, that's step three. So you cleanse, hydrate mist, hydrate serum, and then you can move on to your moisturizer. Um, I know Kia, who's one of the Sky Angels again, we had to really amp up her moisturizer. We had to do more of a barrier protection balm level um, for her, her regular oil serum. It just wasn't cutting it and that's okay. And it may for you, um, but if it doesn't, and I'm going to guess that most people need some extra um, just barrier protection and sealing in of everything under their makeup, um, that looks like a, a really beautiful, rich oil serum. That's your moisturizer. Or this is what Kia uses, the Vital Balm Cream from Josh Rosebrook. It's like this whipped, beautiful, um, it goes on and it feels so rich and then your skin just takes it. Um, this is a beautiful blend of a cream and a balm. So you get the emollient benefits. That means 
the molecule sizes are small enough to penetrate the skin. And then it comes with some oils with occlusive um, oil molecule size. That means it's too big to, to penetrate the skin barrier. So it gives you that hug, that protection barrier. Um, so the blend of both is what you want um, for if you are severely dehydrated. Um, so that is my definite pick for you guys. Um, another pick for you guys is stepping up even from an oil serum and going to a balm. A balm is like a pressed serum, very, very concentrated. And um, I'm going to change my view. So a balm is like a pressed serum and it will turn into, it feels just like a serum with your body heat, but they are just so much richer. Um, it is your not using like the level of a cream even. You are using probably a fourth of the amount you would as, um, of a cream. So I really recommend the Laurel Day Balm for all of you too, because this particular balm has what I call all the sun plants in them. So you're getting natural sun protection and brightening from plants who that's, that's what they do in nature. Um, is they're out in the sun and so they know how to protect you. So this is loaded down. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but Laurel Day Balm. And then she does do a richer night balm that you can use as your night cream um, as well. Um, so those are my two picks as your moisturizer. If the oil serum or just a plain cream is just not cutting it and you need more and you need to feel more dewy and more plumpy, um, that, that's what you want to do. Um, if you're just like, I don't need that, that level of heavy, but I need some really powerful antioxidants. I want to slow aging. I want some good brightening and keep everything calm and happy. I recommend these two for you guys. One is called Repair by Lene, and one is called the Ageless Elixir um, from Dr. Al-Qaeda's Holistic Skin Food. This is a fully edible raw beautiful line. Um, and so you'll probably notice many of you may have not even heard of these lines before. These, I focus on really independent, well-sourced brands and founders who I trust. Um, yes, someone's asking, do I find that the balm serums last longer than traditional serums? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Um, I've got some folks who their jar will last them six months. Um, yeah, and you're because you're using such a small amount, and you can just apply more at nighttime. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I would say like this, this particular one, I would say like four to six months, depending on how heavy handed you are. Um, this cream balm duo, this is the full size. And I would say about three months on these. So these are very concentrated. There's no filler in any of the stuff that we pick. Um, everything in the store is just so mindfully, consciously done. Number one, for it to be in here and for me to share them with you, they have to work. Um, my team, we test, we go, we are up to the task for you guys. Like we, this is the stuff we share with our community. Like we have to know that it was doing its job. We have to know that the plants and the ingredients are sustainably sourced and that it says it's, it's going to do what it says it's going to do. So that's why I love it. Um, nothing's mass produced. You're not going to see big names in here that are just super just pushed out there and have these insane million dollar marketing budgets. Um, we go for the source, we go for the truth, we go for small and we go for indie and that is just us and that's our vibe and that's the whole vibe of the store. So, um, but for our folks who want just a richer oil serum and not the balm level, these two, um, Ageless Elixir by Al-Qaeda, Repair by Lene. And I will definitely send you guys a link um, to all the ones I'm talking about. Um, so you'll have it. So, and that last step, that's your seal. And then you can move on to sunscreen. Um, we have a couple that I just love. This is our newest one that's super fun um, called Ava Isa. And I love this for every skin tone because it goes on like water. So it doesn't matter how oily or dry you are, it 
literally just disappears on. It goes on so thin and you get an SPF 35. And just so you know, the difference between a SPF 30 and a 50 is 1% difference. So with that 1%, you get um, sunscreen that blends in and doesn't look thick and white. And for us, sunscreen means a mineral physical block. We don't do chemical sunscreens here. Um, if those are what work for you, that's awesome. The difference is um, we are wanting to stay with the natural elements and create a physical shield that reflects the sunlight off of you versus a chemical reaction where the sun is going into your skin and then it's handled there. We want it just shielded. And so we always use non-nano zinc oxide in all of our sunscreens. And we have easy reapplication things too, like powders to reapply every two hours or more if you've been sweaty. Um, but for like under makeup, my picks for you are the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Tinted. It's sheer and so easy. And then this Ava Isa SPF 35 that's just completely translucent on every skin type. Um, so these would be super easy for y'all to use right on top of your moisturizer. And then a couple add-ins that I know have made a big difference in Kia, the, your other Sky Angel skin has been amping up her exfoliation. So I like to tell everyone, let's start at twice a week exfoliation. Um, and you can do it in the shower and just like make your, your steps super fast or have it as your morning cleanser, whatever. But um, one way I love for folks, for any of you who like to focus on brightening and hyperpigmentation or just scars, um, I love getting some good acid exfoliation. And this is one that I would do actually every night. So um, you would do this actually before you are missed, after you cleanse at night. This one's called Josh Rosebrook's Daily Acid Toner. So it's a brightening toner. It's got your full load of um, all your AHA, alpha hydroxy acids, but it's so cushiony and anti-inflam and just feels so wonderful and helps decongest. And you'd use that on a cotton round. And we have really great ones that you can just wash. And so you're not buying um, cotton all the time. Um, different thoughts on chemical and, phys and physical exfoliants. Um, physical exfoliants are great for all folks who are normal to um, normal skin. Sensitive skin need to stick with more chemical, which is like this. this those are those alpha hydroxy acids. And where most people, unless you're just super sensitive or just super acneic, just stick with acid only. Um, and this could be it, just your one a night. Um, I know that the one Kia uses is by Gressa. And I'll tell you, almost every other of my picks for you guys are a blend of chemical and physical exfoliants. I want you guys to have both. Um, that way you can get the physical grain and scrub where you need and at least get the mask on and get that acid exfoliation happening regardless whether you scrub or not. That's why I love shower time as my favorite um, time to exfoliate. I'll just leave all my exfoliants in the shower um, because the very first thing I do, um, this one's by Gressa. This one's a super vitamin C rich brightening one, which is why we picked that for Kia. Um, and I'll show you a couple of my other picks for you. But my shower exfoliant twice a week the first thing you do when you get in the shower is wet your face and put your exfoliator on first thing. And you can do your scrubs in little circles right then or wait till the end. But at least you have that entire shower time, you know, up to 10 minutes even of um, letting those acids do their job. So I think that is such a great kind of do less moment. Um, my other picks for you guys, if you had have more congested or really sensitive or inflamed or reactive skin, my exfoliation pick for you is by Siamces. Um, it is a beautiful um, decongestant mask at the same time and it smells like heaven. 
um, this whole line is, um, she's Thai and every product is like a scent memory from Thailand. Um, but this one has really gentle, gentle physical like jojoba beads um, and then just leave it on the whole time in the shower. Um, and then if you are just kind of give me like the best you've got, my best seller is always Leilani Honey Love. It's got the microdermabrasion crystals in the bottom that you stir up the first time. But all of these, of course, you're going to be transferring these into your travel size um, stuff. But um, but this is a mix, again, of chemical and physical together. So you have a choice. I actually, um, we do sell chemical only for our really sensitive folks. So if you need no physical scrubbing at all, we got you. I can, I have so many recommendations for that. And then some people just want like so quick, they don't want the acids or they're too sensitive for the acids and they need like almost like a fine sand feel for their exfoliator. And we have um, those options too. And those are just as great. And exfoliation is um, a place that's fun to play around in and see what you your skin responds to. And you can kind of keep playing with different textures and feels. And that's totally okay. I am actually not a believer that you need to stick with the same brand on skincare. I am a big play, play around. And when I'm inspired by something, I play around to the next thing. Um, and my other, like, this is a great all around new exfoliator that we just got in by Lene. Um, that has the physical and the chemical exfoliant too. And um, I know you may be watching this, but we do um, later than when you see it, but we do have a 15% off promo um, on Lene products till August 4th, if you use the coupon code Lene launch on our website, but um, side note on that. So that's your exfoliation twice, um, twice a week. If um, those are like the treatment extra things I like to do um, to really think about with exfoliation. Your moisturizer cannot actually moisturize dead skin. You have got to slough it off. And if you're using a retinol at night to really help slow down aging and do that cell turnover, which I have Kia on a great, a wonderful retinol. The retinol I would recommend for all of you guys, and that is at nighttime only. Um, is by Maya Chia called the Stray A. It is a super clean, meaning healthy for your body, um, for real retinol, like a synthetic for real retinol, um, mixed with every phyto retinol, plant retinol um, oil. So those are all the super vitamin A rich plant oils. So, and, um, and then there's some phyto retinol words that you may see out there now called bakuchiol or moth bean. Those are, um, they're called phytoretinols because they are just, think of them as just super, super gentle versions of getting some good cell turnover because there, there are some people that cannot have vitamin A or they're pregnant or it's, their just skin is way too sensitive. They can't even do the most gentle um, retinol from their dermatologist. So the wonderful thing is these are more effective than the ones you can get, in my opinion, than your dermatologist, because they are such a beautiful blend of skin supportive plants. So for me, if you are causing more inflammation in your skin and using like a traditional Retin-A or a retinol that is causing a lot of peeling or, in, or just general inflammation, to me, you are defeating the purpose. Inflammation will cause aging, so will dehydration, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but for your retinol, you are gonna, you get a heavy duty hit with this Maya Chia one, but you feel supported. And if you've never been on a retinol before, I know with Kia, we did, we still did like, um, let's start to twice a week and build up every couple weeks until um, we, um, your skin adjusts to it. And then you go nightly. Um, your goal is to get your straight A retinol, this one, to be nightly. And then you put your moisturizer on top of it. Some people, normal to oily, may not need a moisturizer on top of this. This is an oil serum. Um, but if you're in a drier climate, for sure go back and put your balm or your cream right on, right on top and that's just fine. Um, someone's asked, is it okay to start all of these at once or should we incorporate as our skin adjusts to it? That's such a good question. Um, the retinol definitely 
um, gradually bring in, um, like I just said. Um, if you have never been on completely clean or fully organic before, I think it makes the most sense to gradually bring in a product as you need it. So you're not wasting. So if you have a traditional or conventional moisturizer or cleanser that you're using and it's working for you, um, or you're at least somewhat happy with it, then use it. And then at, at the end of each regimen step, then bring in the, these really clean, healthy, heavy hitting ones I've mentioned. Um, and that way it gives your skin a natural progression. Um, and that was great for if you lean sensitive. If you're just like, I am ready for this and I do not have sensitive skin and I am ready for like the glow, then do it. Then just jump in, still be gradual with your retinol, but your skin will be so happy. And the beautiful thing is with these plant-based skincare is that your skin, no, it communicates, it knows, it's natural. It knows what to do with it. It knows to detox what it doesn't need. It knows to use um, exactly, it, it just speaks the same language. So if there's no forcing um, at all. So that's why I feel like if you just have normal skin or just like your skin's always fine, jump all in. You're, that's what I do and it's fine. And, um, and I'm, and I am fair skinned. So um, those are my couple, so topical favorite things, um, um, tips for you guys. The other thing that I would love for you all to start incorporating um, is getting circulation and movement to your face and neck and even chest. Um, we have a phrase that we love to use around here called no flow, no glow. Flow is your lymph system, the lymph, blood. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a few tools um, that you may be familiar with or may not. So um, I would love, you will see such a big difference in the quality of your skin and the, in the lifting and the glow um, by getting that circulation, by getting that movement going. And you can do it nightly. You can just have a ritual once a week. There's no rules, just be consistent. So this is an ancient um, Chinese medicine based skincare using these stone tools. And we have so many in the store. I just pulled a few that I thought would be easy for y'all to work with. Um, but these are gua sha tools, um, G-U-A-S-H-A, gua sha. Some people say gua sha and that's okay. Either way goes. Um, so this is level one for moving that lymph fluid. So your lymph system is that fluid retention. Your lymph system, and when you see that, it is for, the, your lymph literally cleanses and nourishes every system in your body and stagnation in your skin. Lymph stagnation shows up as hyperpigmentation, uh, blackheads, dullness, so wrinkles, um, any collagen loss, any of these things are signs of lymph stagnation. So we are so huge on using tools and even our hands, we love facial massage here, um, to get that flow going. Um, and we're going to have a video soon on our website posting a super um, um, like level 101 video on how to use these tools. Um, and because there's a lot of resources out there and they're not teaching correctly. So we want to make sure we get some really correct, safe um, tips out there that are really how your lymph system works. Um, so I've got a question of how often should we be getting facials? Um, for every four to six weeks is what we recommend um, for, I would say nine out of 10 people who come in every four to six weeks. Um, I like every four to five weeks. I can tell such a big difference. Um, 
and your facialist may be using the gua sha tools. We use those here in our, in our treatments, or at least you want a, to find a facialist who does a lot of facial massage work. Um, that is so important because we can do this kind of stuff all day long, but they're going to do just a, such a deeper, more intense um, lymph drainage experience for you. And um, that's huge. So every four to six weeks for your um, try and find a holistic facial. So they're using some really healthy, um, good products. And if you're in Charleston, definitely um, come see us. Um, so just a little 101 for this is an amethyst gua sha tool. They come in jade, rose quartz, all the beautiful stones. And you just pick the stone that you are most drawn to. There's no wrong way. Um, these stones all resonate in different ways. So you're gonna pick the perfect one for you. And jade is um, the stone of eternal beauty and rose quartz is um, like the stone of self-love and self-care. And this amethyst is such a beautiful stone for protection. And these tools, you can't do it wrong. You just match, match shapes. So we always wanna go to our pits essentially and wake up our lymph. Our lymph will pull, pull here above our collarbone, in front of our ears, and even here along our jawline. And when we're working to drain lymph fluid, think of a pressure that is light. You are thinking a little bit more than feather light, but less than if you are dragging like a coin across your skin, light. The lymph system runs as slow as a snail and is right, right under the skin. So if you are feeling any muscle, it's too hard. So the lymph responds to slow and light pressure. And we'll, I can just like quickly just give you a few, you always wanna to wiggle too at the end of your strokes and also protect your um, skin from stretching. But you're always essentially think of a dividing line down the middle and you're going to the sides and up and then drain down. We always want to open up our neck and chest first before we ever work our face. That's so important because this has to have a place to go and be open and drain. And you also can do this with your hands. And just doing this, even on the plane, just open up that length, open up that chest, wiggle into your collarbones. Do spot hands around your ears in a light, gentle wave pumping motion and just take it down. Doing this up in the air will be so important. And you can use, like we're, we're gonna have a tutorial on our site and you can, um, we also have, if you're on Instagram, we already have videos um, saved there um, that you can watch us. But this one by Essentialist is a super easy one to use. Um, this one, this gua sha stone has ridges. So you actually can chisel out wrinkles and work. So when they have the little ridges, you get a little more treatment work if you want. Otherwise, just focus on the lymph. And then the other super amazing resource that I have, if you want to do more hands-on, is this book, The Book of Lymph. Um, it is such a beautiful book um, for teaching, like even if you're sick or if you're hungover, um, if you have achy legs, um, this is wonderful um, for, um, for, for uh, doing just like a little fun deep dive. Like there's just easy little illustrations to do for breast health, all of this, um, for clogged ears. Um, she's got all that in here. And this is just, I've been recommending this one like crazy. Um, so the book of length and, and that kind of is leading into the internal, the internal hydration part. So I've really stressed to you guys that the external hydration part, we're just really making sure you've added in your hydration mist and a hydration serum in addition to your moisturizer and keep misting on the plane every hour. Um, so for internal hydration, I just want to kind of give you like a rundown of just um, 
the most simple things I feel like um, have made a difference for me. Um, one is using collagen. Um, these are, this one is animal collagen and this one is all vegan collagen. So these both have mushrooms in them that hold and plump you from the inside out. Um, so these are amazing. This one's like a vegan creamer. You can like use in any of your drinks. And then this one, I've got folks who just dissolve this in water and drink it. Um, it has like no flavor, um, smoothies, coffee, anything. Um, these are such wonderful ways, um, to, for, um, youthfulness to preserve and protect the collagen that you have and to increase collagen production. Um, but also double duty, they hydrate you from the inside out. Um, cause I will tell you everything you do topically is undercut if you are not hydrated internally properly. And you all being in the air um, with that lower humidity level, you are just, you are being just like in the war zone with dehydration and keeping your internal um, system properly hydrated. Um, so those are my two picks for you for internal hydration. Um, one of my other just favorites, so this is by Wing to Glow Up, Moon Juice Collagen Protect, Protect by the way. Um, and one of my other favorite tips um, is chia seeds. And we're gonna, we, this book is on the way here to the store to sell, but this book called Quench, huge. I would recommend every single one of you reading this book. Um, it is so important um, because we are learning that 2% reduction in hydration considerably decreases your brain function. So that's like a one liter. One liter is about 2% of your water intake for the day. And water intake, I'm talking about also from food and water, not just oh, eight glasses. No, your eight glasses is from water as well. I mean, is from food as well, hydrating foods. Um, you are going to get more hydration by eating an apple and a bottle of water than two bottles of water, because that apple water is essentially a gel water. So it's not, it is, um, it's holds, it lasts longer in your system. And one of my favorite ways to get, to create gel water in your body is with chia seeds. I like to do ground chia seeds and put them in. So take packets of ground organic chia seeds in your water bottle. And every time you fill it up, pour some in there. Tablespoon is great. If you wanna start with a teaspoon, that's great. They're actually delicious in your water. So you're gonna put them in there, shake it up and let it sit for like 10 minutes. Chia seeds are the highest omega-3 food in nature. So hello, you, if you are just drinking this like magic water, you will feel so good on the plane and your skin is, will completely transform on just by doing this. So um, chia seeds and mineral salt are my favorite little just hacks to stay hydrated besides just choosing more hydrating foods. Um, so, and you can easily um, pack the chia seeds and pack some sea salt. Um, I always like to put a little lemon in there. So one of my favorite tips for just um, staying hydrated throughout the day is I call it just front loading your hydration. So um, that means as soon as you wake up, go straight to the kitchen and put a pinch of sea salt or mineral or Himalayan salt, a pinch in, in, a, in your water. I like more room temperature water. Don't do cold water. Um, room temperature water or just tap water, whatever. And a lemon, lemon water. So lemon and salt, first thing, chug it. And just replenish from sleeping all night or not sleeping. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, 
So replenish that hydration, wake up your kidneys with that lemon and you need the minerals from the salt to, so the water actually is able to break through the oil barrier that is around every cell. So if you are just drinking straight water, you will not get the hydration level you need. So when you all are in the airports, try and look out for mineral water. I'm not talking about sparkling water, mineral water. Gerald Steiner's is a German brand. It comes in glass bottles. That's my favorite because it has the highest mineral content in a already pre-made quick mineral water. Um, Topo Chico has great mineral as well. So that is going to hydrate you up in the air so much better than straight water. Like forget straight water now. That is over. It's canceled. So whenever you do ha only have access to just regular water or bottled water that's like flat, you're going to have your, your sea salt. So you can turn it into mineral water um, because that mineral part of it is what makes it work in your body. Um, and then you can always add, have slices of lemons on you. So at minimum, you, if you just make your water mineral water, it will be so huge. And, and drink, like every hour you're up in the air, you need a glass every hour. And then your bonus is add the chia. I, I have chia, let me see if you can even see this. It looks kind of crazy. It is actually delicious. Um, the chia seeds open up and you can see that gel water that it creates and you just shake it up and then drink it. Um, so chia, sea salt. Um, the chia seeds, they're virtually tasteless. They are, um, they have like the most slight nutty flavor, just not that they're not, but they, it, actually makes the water taste really good and very satisfying. It's not gross or gaggy or anything. It is a very satisfying flavor. Um, and it's hardly noticeable, especially if you um, did lemon water in it. And normally if I do a pinch of sea salt, I want some lemon in there too. Um, I'm a big lemon water person. So those are my three little tips. Chia, see if you can find, find ground chia. If you don't have, can't find ground chia, just buy regular and you can grind it yourself in a coffee grinder. Um, or just do the straight chia. You're just gonna get more sides to the seed itself. When, and so essentially more gel water if you grind the seeds. But the seeds themselves are so tiny. It's a totally cool if you are just like, oh, I'm in a hurry and only have access to regular chia seeds that are always at the grocery store. Um, and then put that in your, in your water. So if it's just like a regular, like drinking glass of water, I would do a teaspoon, but like your big water bottles do like take one tablespoon minimum. Um, you can even go up to two if you want, when you get used to it. But, um, my husband did this for the first time this week and he came home and was like, he was shocked. He goes, he's like, my energy was so much better today. I didn't feel so thirsty all day. And it's really, really hot here in Charleston right now. He was like, I just didn't feel so hot where I was feel like I was needing to grab my water bottle all the time. Cause he, and he could tell first time how much his body was just holding that water from the inside out, especially right now with um, mask wearing and we're not just able to get to drinking water the way we normally do. So making these little tricks to create more hydration in the body is so important. And just trying to do swaps. Um, I think about the snacks that are passed out on airplanes that are so drying and salty um, foods. So, and so just think, not those. <laughs> so when you're choosing um, foods, always, from now on, especially when you're working and up in the air, you want the most hydrating foods possible. Um, so apples, amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, and I'll just give you a quick run um, down of the most hydrating. So the point is you wanna eat your water. So you wanna drink your water with chia seeds or mineral water. Um, and then you wanna eat your water. So a quick run through of like, the most hydrating vegetables, 
cucumber number one, romaine lettuce, celery, zucchini, radish, and tomato. Those are your top most hydrating veggies. Your most hydrating fruits are star fruit, watermelon, strawberry, grapefruit, cantaloupe, and pineapple. Um, so just think of using those in smoothies. If you guys could stop, if there's like a healthy smoothie place in the airport, it's not like loaded with um, sugar, or like loaded with dairy, and you can fill it with these really hydrating vegetables and fruits. That would be so amazing if you could get in one smoothie or one green juice a day, that would be so huge for your skin and for your hydration as well. Um, in this book, Quench, this doctor talked about how a flight attendant client of hers went to see her because she thought she was, she just felt completely blah. She felt like she was about to need be put, need to be put on hormone replacement therapy and um, just felt just not sleeping well, the whole thing. And they actually had her focus on hydration for three weeks. And that's all she did. So what she did was she did all those tips I just said with the chia seed or mineral water, do the, the first big front load in the morning when you first wake up and drink a cup of, of the mineral water um, before every meal, just one cup before every meal and add in the smoothies. Um, so you can get that hydration or a green juice every day. That's all she did was just turn her mindset to like, okay, I'm going to focus on hydration. Three weeks later, she comes in. She's a, the doctor said she was like a completely different human. No need for hormone therapy. Her sleep, like it is just unbelievable. And it makes sense because your brain is water. And if you're chronically dehydrated, you are, your brain cannot function properly. And you're, when you're chronically dehydrated, your brain is going to send water where the most priority is. So then you have all these areas of your system that aren't getting what it needs because it's trying to send the proper hydration to the organ systems that you have to have to live. Um, so that's why your skin can then start being dull and crap or you're sleeping horrible or your, your hormone balance is out. Um, so it's such a, like a simple, just powerful way that we can do to, to, to really make a difference is to focus on, um, our hydration. And so, um, we'll have this book, um, in store, but for sure get quench. Um, and they have some just fun little recipes in the back too. Um, but that was, um, that's like a big tip that I thought immediately for you guys, um, and I know I gave Kia that tip and she was like texting me like, oh my gosh, this has been so wonderful. So um, um, I hope that helps. Um, another little tip I had for you guys for um, skincare on the plane was with the hot teas and hot water that you have that you're serving people. See if you just sitting there with your cup and having the steam on your face while you're sitting there will be just that little thing. Well, is huge, is awesome. Um, essentially, you want to be urinating and peeing every two to three hours. If you're not, you're not drinking enough. So um, that you, we don't want to, I know on a plane, it's like, most people are like, I don't want to pee, I don't want to, have to get up or make it un uncomfortable for other people. But um, our goal is we want to have those systems going and we want to be, um, peeing every two to three hours. Um, and another tip I had for you guys, when you're up in the air on the plane and you're sitting there and you're not helping someone, you're getting your little moment where you can sit, um, massage your face, spend time massaging, massage your temples, massage behind your ears. Um, this is gonna help you actually fight fatigue because this is going to help get your circulation and your lymph going. So even if it's just massage your, get up in your head. Um, yeah, just spend some time on every flight massaging your face. Um, and it is just going to help wake, wake you up and bring some circulation in and help the drain. You can literally just sit there and wiggle at your lymph nodes here at your collarbone and wake them up. I actually want to do a little J. 
And then just lightly go down your neck and do this on your flights um, and massage. Um, and, that's, and that's huge. So um, the other thing that I know I've worked with Kia on is the last thing is sleep. I feel like that's something that you all are probably um, struggling with going in different time zones. And so I have some picks for you that I feel like are easy to travel with and I know they work really well. And sleep plants, the plants that help you um, fall asleep and then stay asleep and then just help your body regulate um, different, your internal clock. Um, it really is personal. I, I call it like a deodorant. So like you're gonna actually have to figure out the plants that work um, just really best for you. But I have three picks that you'll know, you'll know. So um, I know that the one that Kia is using, um, these are gummies because that's just so easy to fly with. Um, these are for sleep and for stress. So these by Winged, um, we have these on the, our online store. These really um, help hormone balancing for women as well. Um, but they also have like, oh my gosh, um, the plants that help the racing mind slow down and stop and help you just fall asleep and stay asleep. So um, I just thought these were so easy to use and they work so well. They're called Sleepy Head Sleep and Stress Gummies, Mental Calmness and Serene Sleep. Um, I know some people are sensitive to melatonin and I am too. Um, this one does have melatonin. The, the ones that I'm actually gonna show you have it in the tiniest little bit, not in a way where it's strong or causes grogginess. It's used in the formula to just help the other plants and all round out in your system well. Um, so don't be afraid um, if it does have a little bit of melatonin that's not the main ingredient. Um, so these are gummies and they're delicious. Um, the other one I thought would be super easy for traveling is by a Chinese medicine based company that we carry called Within. They're based out of New York. And this one's called Dream On and this is just pills. So that's super easy. Um, this is to help you wind down and fall asleep. So these are once you get back to your um, hotel or wherever you're staying. After dinner, at least 30 minutes before bed, do your sleep ritual. Go do your oil cleanser, do all your skincare, do your gua sha. Then if you want, do some lymph drainage and take your sleep supplement. The other one that I like a lot and it's in a spray bottle that you do two sprays sublingually under your tongue. And I thought that would be really easy for traveling too. This is a Portuguese line. Um, that's a plant-based one called Biocall Labs. And um, this one works really well too. So pills, spray, gummies, easy to travel with. Um, and these are all gonna help with that wind down and help you stay asleep but not wake up feeling like groggy or you're a different person. It's, you're still gonna wake up feeling good. Um, my other last little sleep or just wind down for stress, cause um, you're in a stressful job and traveling is stress, stressful, is um, thinking about your magnesium levels in your body. So if, I know for women, magnesium, we're essentially all short uh, in magnesium. And magnesium is the first mineral in our body that depletes when we're stressed. So it's really cool because magnesium is also the mineral that makes you feel really chilled out. Like you just had a big, long yoga class and just, oh my gosh, you can just like really relax down and your mind is calm. Um, two that we carry that are easy for that. This is a powder by Moon Juice. So this would be easy to put in a little baggie. This is called Magnesium and it's delicious. And one, like you just make a little, it's like a, like a berry la um, lemonade and it is awesome. So this is really just great for that wind down. You, you're not like ready to go to sleep yet, but you just really need some support and help with stress or just wind, wind down your body and your mind. And Magnesium is it and it will help with sleep still. And then this one is a magnesium spray that you do. I like to do it on the bottom of my feet before bed. Um, actually through the skin is a really great way to get magnesium. 
So, um, and we, I don't have it here yet. It'll be online soon, but we also are gonna have a magnesium body balm, like a body butter, that that would be easy to travel with too. And you can rub that on the bottom of your feet or really the spray or the body butter anywhere that you're actually sore. Um, think of that magnesium as Epsom salt. So where you're also sore um, is uh, where you can apply it and it will help too. And then you get the double benefit of it helping you wind down. Um, so I think that is about what I've got. So I covered skincare for you guys and I covered sleep and lymph and hydration internally um, and collagen and hydration from the inside out too. So kind of that sandwich topical and internal um, is where I feel like you're going to get, that will be the ticket for you um, with you guys being in those um, drier climates. Um, okay, so someone's saying um, in a pinch, are there um, any product lines? Like if you're, out, if you are out traveling, um, you may not be able to access a boutique like this. Um, so there are any product lines that are more widely accessible or affordable that you would recommend. Um, hmm, let me think. Oh my gosh, I wish I knew, um, let me imagine. I would say like the clean area of the target is gonna be your best bet. So I wouldn't, for me, I would not recommend Clinique. And I actually, um, for me, would not recommend The Ordinary because I know the formulations. Um, and they are just not the level or the quality or the effectiveness that we would share with you. Again, if that works for you and you're getting what you need from it, then do it. We do not preach dogma here. Yes, we are about healthy and clean and green and sharing um, these mindful, sustainable things, but we're also not preachy about it. And you do you. And um, so I would, I would trust though the clean section of um, like a target. And, and so I feel like you would maybe be able to find those brands that they carry um, like globally. Um, I know, I feel like if you've ever heard of like Dr. Hauschka, um, that would be good. Um, and, and that's, this is if you're in a pinch, otherwise you can just shop from us and we will ship it to you and you'll have it and have it to have in your little travel containers. But in a pinch, um, look at the clean stuff that Target carries, um, or even Sephora. I feel like Sephora will be glo global and they have some great clean lines now too. Um, no, I don't, um, I actually, that any particular brands to avoid, no, um, I, I just wouldn't share that, um, because I feel like skincare is so personal, wellness is so personal, so one thing that works for you may work so amazing for someone else, and so, um, and every brand just has a different intention. It's the brands that we work with. We have to really know and trust their intention behind the brand. And um, so that's it. There's no brands that I would, that I would, um, if you talk to someone else, <laughs> they would give you that information, but um, that just doesn't, that doesn't feel right for me. And then for what does the shipping timeframes look like from ordering from you? So we do priority. So you get it in two days um, typically. So it's quick, um, probably we process in a day and then you get it in two days. Um, so yeah, it's quick and easy. And um, yeah, and then you're ordering from a small local indie business that um, yeah, like your, your orders, like literally we do dances, like we are, you make a difference for us. So this is so different from ordering at, um, at like, a, a big mass producer, mass marketed, or people who have huge um, um, investors. That's not us. We want to control our destiny and what we carry here. So um, that's why we stay independent. Um, so I hope that helped you guys and wasn't overwhelming. 
Um, does anyone, oh, any questions? I know I've just answered like a bunch, um, but if you have any more questions, you can always email me. I'm holly at wildcraftcharleston.com. And our website is wildcraftcharleston.com. And our online store links straight from that. And we have Instagram and we're sharing all of our fun new arrivals all the time. And I'm happy to send um, an email with the products that I mentioned that can be shared with everyone. Yep, with the links, I will um, I will email that to, to um, Lauren that she can pass out to you guys um, with links to what I recommended. And then if you need any further kind of deep dive on your particular skin type, we got you. Like we are talking to our, um, to people every day. This is what we love to talk about and help people with. We wanna find things that work for you and, um, and feel good and help you create a beautiful ritual for yourself. So you can take these steps and turn something mundane into something meaningful. And that's why we choose the brands and all that we do because I feel the energetic love in them. I know how they're made. I know how they're sourced. I know the care and thought that the founders um, and the makers have put into them if we carry them. And that energy is transferred to you. And if otherwise it's not, and we are, I believe we are energetic beings. So it's all building on each other. And, um, and that is just how we're gonna stay um, happy and healthy. And this is just the one way that I can um, help you guys. And, and um, I'm here for you. And this is Wildcraft and um, we're in Charleston. So please come see us if um, you're ever this way. I would so love to someone come in and say that they're a sky angel and that they were on this call. So thank you guys so much and we'll end it. And I know this will go out to the rest of um, the team so they can watch. Bye.